Hey there, Divi fam. Roby here, coming at you with another Divi Engine quick tip for you. And today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at Divi Body Commerce and how you can control the spacing between your products on any type of product archive page and a product loop, that type of thing. So why don't we go take a look right now? Okay, so what am I talking about when I'm saying the spacing between the products. We're talking about the horizontal spacing. So this area right here between these two product cards, and then also the vertical spacing, which you'll see at the top and the bottom here. Now we're gonna show you two ways to do that. So I'm gonna show you the easy way first, and that is to just go ahead and enable the visual builder right on your page, but you've got that product loop module. All right, now with that loaded up, all you need to do is go and edit the product loop module. So I'll just click on the gear icon here and we can see that I'm in my ARP product loop archive module. So all you need to do is scroll down to the loop layout options, you expand that. And this might look a little bit different for some of you guys. We recently made this interface easier so that you can get to the settings that are important to you fast. So I'm gonna go to the grid options here since we've got this in a grid layout and I've got the masonry style selected. And you just come down here to where it says custom gutter gaps. Now you'll see some default values in there. I'm gonna make mine 50 and 50. And I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna go and save the page. And then I'll exit the visual builder. And so guys, now you can see nice large gaps in between our products. Obviously you won't do this on a production site, but I wanted to overemphasize how easy it is to do this. Now, I mentioned two different ways that you can do this. Let's look at the other way right now. Okay, so the other way we're gonna do this is we are actually gonna look at the loop for each of these cards that we're utilizing, and we're gonna be adding some padding. This is the traditional way of doing it, so that's also a very easy way, but first we need to quickly unset this. I'm gonna do this with the magic of editing, so we're gonna land right on that loop page now. Okay, great. So here we are on my product loop, which makes up these product cards that we've got on the front end. And you can see that I have removed those gaps that we put in there earlier. So let's go back here to the loop. It's super easy to do. You're gonna be opening up your section. It depends on how you have this set up. If you've got your entire loop inside of a row or something like that, I tend to use just a normal layout for my loops just because I have a little bit more control over things like the spacing and the layout and the look and stuff like that. So open up the settings for your section or whatever you've got going on. You go to design and then you go to spacing. Now I'm gonna add some margin at the top and we're gonna be using 50 pic, oh, that's not 50, 50 pixels. We're gonna combine those. We're gonna do it for the left and right also. There we go. And you can kind of see how it's created some room right there for itself already. So I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna save the loop and then I'm gonna catch you on the front end. All right, so here we are on the front end and I am going to refresh my page. And there you have it guys. Now, obviously I overemphasized the spacing so that you can visually see how I have changed things. But now you've got it, two different ways to add spacing between your products using our Divi Body Commerce plugin. Guys, this has been Roby with the Divi Engine team. This tip might've been new to you. You might not be a Body Commerce user, so definitely check that out by the link in the description, like, subscribe, all those fun things. I'm gonna catch you in the next quick tip real soon. Bye for now.